Agathea Orem's self-care deficit nursing theory consists of self-care, the patient caring for themselves to maintain and sustain health and well-being. Self-care demands. These are varied kinds of care needed over time to meet all the needs of the patient. Self-care agency. The power and capacity to perform self-care tempered by factors both internal and external. Nursing agency. The overall ability of nurses to perform nursing duties. Self-care deficit. The actions and needs required for self-care that exceed the patient's abilities for self-care and conditioning factors. These are internal or external factors that may have an influence on the patient's ability to engage in necessary self-care. The theoretical and practical knowledge of this theory is the foundational basis for nursing and dependent care. In the theory of nursing systems, there are three which aid the patient in meeting both potential and current self-care needs. Focusing on the patient as a person, these three systems identified in Orem's theory include total or wholly compensatory, partial or partly compensatory, and supportive and educative compensatory. The patient's ability for involvement in their own care will determine which system would best meet their needs. The graphic to the right depicts the relationship between patient self-care deficit and agency, or ability for involvement, related to nursing intervention. There is an inverse relationship between self-care deficit in orange and nursing intervention in yellow. Let's review these three systems. Total or wholly compensatory. This system involves total nursing care with the patient unable to participate or do for themselves. Partial compensatory involves both the nurse and the patient sharing in self-care needs. Supportive and educative elicits the role of the nurse as a teacher or resource where the patient is responsible for their own self-care. It is important to remember that a patient may fluctuate or move back and forth between systems throughout the course of their lives. Orem's theory fits well into my current nursing practice. The process of performing assessments using the aspects of the theory blend well into decision trees in formulating care plans. Since there is no actual hands-on care given in my work, the consistent administration of assessments and follow-up as to effectiveness provides evidence of nursing interventions having a positive effect on care. The data produced by this process also assists in refining algorithms used in assessments. Expected Nursing Behaviors Following the decision tree models based on Orem's theory for a comprehensive assessment and planning process, several self-care models are covered. Universal self-care needs covers identification of activities essential for health, such as intake of air, water, food, elimination processes, balancing activity and rest, in addition to solitude and socialization. It is also important to assess for threats to well-being and for advancement of human functioning. Developmental self-care needs covers areas such as assessing for education relating to gaining an optimal level of wellness, such as healthier eating habits, medications, and so on. Health deviation self-care needs. This assessment looks at changes due to illness or disability. It is important to cover individualized needs for wellness, such as walkers and other durable medical equipment to assist in activities of daily living. Theoretical Nursing Experience As mentioned earlier, I do not have a conventional nursing practice. My patient assignment, so to speak, covers over 2.5 million patients across the Western United States. Though this number may be daunting, we are able to follow and assist in coordinating the care of hundreds of patients hospitalized at any one time. The assessments identified in Orem's theory are integrated into the tools used to determine need and provide the correct care. We work both in hospitals where our nurses are physically on site and also perform remote telenursing for hospitalized patients. Assessment and planning plays an integral role in this process. We gather data, in other words, translate conversations with physicians, patients, families, and caregivers into consistent information. We then determine the appropriate nursing system and then assist in providing the tools and environment for self-care. We also remember that the patient may move back and forth through nursing systems over time. Though developed decades ago, the approach to Dorothea Orem's theory remains consistent even today. Approaching care with the questions of, what is self-care agency in need? When is nursing needed? And how is nursing care provided? sets the foundation for nursing care both in a hospital setting and through modalities such as integrated telenursing, a concept virtually unheard of when this theory was developed. In 2011, Romeo Endeavoro stated, 
Many clinical studies have shown that implementing Orem's theory has a positive effect on patients, nurses, and healthcare organizations.